R22. Yeah, lots of HVAC companies will go into homes and just tell you it's illegal to recharge R22. And honestly, like uh, a lot of residential HVAC companies won't even carry it just because it's, it's an expensive refrigerant. Like this tank to buy locally is like, I think 1300 bucks. You can order it online cheaper than that. So hey, if you buy a 30 pound tank, you might sit on it. You're not gonna make your money back on one recharge. Comes like a little bit of a money pit to, if you don't have a lot of customers that need it. But R22 is phased out in 2008. But yeah, you can still buy the stuff. They just don't import it or something like that. I don't know. Do you know, Johnny? I don't. Yeah, like, so it's just, it's expensive. Oh, the, you can buy it, but they no longer produce or manufacture it. So yeah, it's like all reclaimed. Yeah, it's so. all reclaimed stuff. That yeah. So can you recharge it? Let's see. <laughs> I think there is a particular law, though, that, like, if you were to add this right now, you can't just keep coming back and Bullshit. dumping it in. It's wrong. Really? Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you're just kind of dumping refrigerant out into the atmosphere. It's not illegal. Point. Really? Really. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, there is a law uh, that used to be a little bit more strict. I think they eased up on it, is my understanding. But for big commercial systems, like systems that hold over 50 pounds of refrigerant, they used to make it so if it was leaking over a certain threshold a year, you had to track it. And if the customer didn't want to come up with a plan to fix the leak, that they, they legally had to once you uh, once it, it got to a certain leak amount per year. I think it was like over 50% of the charge leaked out per year. They had to fix the leak by law. But they even, I mean, if you look it all up, uh, I'm pretty sure they nixed that law recently during COVID. So that law that was in place isn't even a thing anymore. And it never applied to residential HVAC unless the system held over 50 pounds, which I, and I think it might've even said on it, it didn't apply to residential HVAC at all. So, so yeah, um, that one is not applicable, never was. And, uh, but that, that law is quoted or cited by a bunch of HVAC companies to this day to, as a justification for not recharging R22. It never was illegal. It never, it, the, to import the stuff is illegal. So actually there was a guy that was arrested here in San Diego recently for uh, driving across the border from Mexico. Do you mind just turning on the air conditioner for us? Just crank it down real low so it doesn't turn off. Oh, turn right. it back on. <laughs> Noisy contactor. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, you can still recharge refrigerant, even if it's on 22. It is legal. So yeah, you can recharge the stuff. It's fully possible. Not necessarily recommended, but we will dive into that right now. So yeah, uh, if the question is if you can recharge R22, then the answer is a resounding yes, you can. It's totally legal. You can still buy the stuff. You can still recharge the stuff. now. Is it smart to do it? If you've got a residential system, oftentimes the answer is gonna be no, because it costs a lot of money to do it, and uh, mo I mean, most HVAC companies won't even touch the stuff. So um, if you got a big commercial system that costs buku bucks to replace because it's huge, then oftentimes it's a lot more cost effective to just repair it, even if it is R22. But if you're residential, oftentimes doesn't make sense. Um, Especially recharging it, like like the one we did right here, that's his first time he's ever done it. That's the only time I would ever recommend even thinking about it, is if you've only done it once. Because if, if this is your first time catching a system low, and if you've owned the system for 10 years, you don't know how long that thing's been leaking if you haven't been doing regular maintenance on it. So that's what a lot of people, a lot of people here in San Diego, they, they don't maintain, they don't ever look at, they don't ever call an HVAC guy until it breaks. So we go out there and this guy's been in the home for 15 years in this particular instance and he's never once had his AC breakdown. They run it every every summer for um, not that much. He said that, he, I mean, he was home, it was 80 degrees inside his house, and he told me he would turn it off after I left. So um, yeah, lots of people in San Diego just function like that, 
And so if that's how they run it, uh, it's a kind of case by case scenario on whether you should recharge R22. But if you've done it before and it's only been two years, it's not gonna be a cost effective thing long term and your system will lose efficiency as it leaks out. So it's gonna be more to run. You're gonna have to charge it up again in two more years, every two years or something, it's every year. Refrigerant isn't as cheap as it used to be. People used to recharge their systems like two times in the summer every year. Not, nowadays, it's like so expensive that it, it's just not cost effective to do that. You need to find and fix that leak. But we don't recharge R22 systems often. We will recharge a water source system because those things are headaches to replace. Um, and if it's a situation like this one where this guy has never even, I mean, there's no point in tr this guy trying to replace his system because he, he runs it 10 days a year. So it's like, we'll keep it going for him. Now, uh, we'll also do a free check on it at the uh, either end of summer or beginning of next summer and tell him if it's low again. If you've had it be low before, if it hasn't been at least five years, it's not gonna be very cost effective to keep recharging it because uh, that's just gonna lead to more breakdowns as well. Like, it's not like recharging is the only issue uh, that can happen. And so it's like every year, every few years, you're putting money into it and then you're gonna have a blower motor fail. You're gonna have this fail. You're, I don't think there's anything I'm missing. I'm sure some people are gonna just absolutely hate on me for recharging an R22 system. That's fine. You guys can do that, so. Um, but yeah, our our recharging R22, not illegal. Even Johnny, just now you heard him, he even thought it might be illegal. That's because. Uh, Johnny's got more of an install background and he just knows what the, the companies that he's worked for before I've told him. All these HVAC guys, I get, I get quotes or I get on social media in person. Like these people say these things and they don't even know they're lying. That, that's what it is. People are, all these HVAC guys, they are misinformed. It's just not true though. Like the EPA does ha did have guidelines. They do have guidelines, but, uh, it was only for systems with over 50 pounds of refrigerant. So. These people don't, these guys don't know what they're talking about. They're spoon fed these lies by these, by their companies that they work for. And then they, they end up believing them. And so uh, they pass that on to homeowners. And all these homeowners get these ideas that their, their system's illegal. Having R22 is not necessarily a reason to replace the system because guess what? Uh, any new system going in this year has 410A and 410A is phased out next year. So it's not like uh, refrigerant is not a reason uh, I mean, we don't know, but I, I would guess we might see another refrigerant change in 12, 14, 16 years again. So we're transitioning to uh, more environmentally friendly one than R410A. And R410A was more friendly than R22. And before R22, there was R12. And uh, yeah, so maybe one day recharging R22 will be illegal, but today it is not. If someone has a law that they can link, they they think I'm wrong. Go ahead, link it. And uh, if you got if you got something that explicitly states we can't do this, go ahead, uh, drop that comment. But there's no, I mean, it's yeah, it's just not a thing.